am making a plant-based quiche today. No eggs, no cheese, no dairy. How is that even possible, right? Well, first I'm starting with a potato crust. You could use any kind of crust you want. Um, it could be a regular pastry cut crust that you would use for a regular quiche. Um, you could make one with almond flour. Um, I just love potatoes, so I made mine with potatoes. And there will be another video on how to make the potato crust either before this video or after this video. Anyway, so here's what our baked potato crust looks like. Now, what I did is I've tried the recipe several different times. Um, the best flavor comes from roasted vegetables. So I just need one cup of roasted vegetables. We love broccoli, so I just roasted some broccoli and some red onion. I don't know if you can see those strips. And so I stuck them in the oven at 375 for 20 minutes. I chopped them really small. I want them to be bite-sized pieces. So I'm just going to put that in our crust. Just to cover the bottom of our crust. I could add it to our batter, but I'd rather just throw it in here. When I used to make a quiche with um, real eggs, that's what I would do. Okay. So here is... Our quiche so far. So now we need to make our batter, which is normally made with eggs and milk, um, but we're going to be using chickpea flour. Um, there are several different brands out there. Um, this is just the brand that I just picked up. Um, this is Perreg, maybe? Anyway, um, so we could use equal parts chickpea flour and water, or you could use a block of tofu, either firm or silk, either one will work. And so you can substitute those for each other. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm using the blender, is I'm going to put my water, my liquids in first. So I have one and a half cups of water, and now I'm going to measure out one and a half cups of chickpea flour. Move this out of my way. I keep it in the freezer, and so it's still a little firm. Let's see. I'm not being really precise. If I were baking, then I would be scooping and scraping with a knife. Two and three. And I've also seen people use a can of chickpeas instead of the chickpea flour. I have not tried that before. Okay, so one and a half cups of water, one and a half cups of the chickpea flour. And now I'm going to add a quarter cup of milk. You could use any non-dairy milk that you want. Um, I like soy milk, um, and I prefer West Soy or Eden Soy. And when you look at the ingredients, this one is water and organic soy beans. That's it. There's no fillers. There's no added vitamins or anything. Just water and organic soybeans. And Eden Soy has one that is just water and soybeans as well. Okay, so we have our water, our chickpea flour, and our non-dairy milk. I'm going to add a quarter cup or four tablespoons of nutritional yeast to give it our cheesy flavor. One, two, three, and four. I am going to add a little bit, just about a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric, just to give it the yellow color so it will look like quiche. I'm going to add two heaping teaspoons of onion powder. Okay, we had some technical issues there. The phone cut off, so we're switching to a different one. And so I added two teaspoons of onion powder, and now I need two heaping teaspoons of garlic. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so now I'm going to just turn on the blender. Blend it until it's smooth. If it was the tofu, I'd blend it just till it's smooth. Now 
just gonna pour it over our vegetables. You can see it looks just like a regular quiche batter. Perfect, filling up the pan. I feel so far away from the camera now, but can you see? So I'm gonna stick this in the oven. I have it set at 375, and it's gonna bake for 45 minutes. forgot. You know, I'm always talking about eating the rainbow and we are missing some red. I didn't have any red bell pepper to roast with the broccoli and the onions. And so I just sliced some tomato and my husband doesn't really care for sliced tomatoes. So I'm only putting a few on here, but they will sink in here and bake and it'll be beautiful. Now I'm going to stick it in the oven for 45 minutes. Okay, here is our quiche. I took it out of the oven almost 10 minutes ago and I put some green onions on top. I'll try to hold it up so you can see. It's still a little hot. You can see where the tomatoes are that I put on there. See, it looks like a quiche. You can see where the potatoes browned on the edges. And you can see it does have kind of a crackle top, crackle finish. All right, so let me see. See, I'll cut into it. It's kind of dangerous to do on TV. Grab a plate. I wanted to show you my knife. Can you see that? I love this knife. It's not very flexible, but it's serrated on one side and it's great for slicing cakes and brownies and quiche. All right, feels good so far. Run it through one more time and lift off. Here we go. We can see the broccoli on top. I didn't cut the uh, one with the tomato, but my green onions back on top. I did sprinkle some green onions on top. Anyway, you see it looks just like a quiche and it's delicious. Enjoy.